Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brendan. Today we're on episode 264, I believe, of the death walkthrough. Um, last time we managed to free Malori from the reverie, which was over here. Um, we fought Balok and all of that sort of stuff. Today we're in Xanadu speaking to Spark. Greetings, wizard. I gather you received a summons from Captain Pork as well. It seems appropriate then that I accompany you to the palace. But before we go, I feel I should tell you that I saw something when I arrived that I found most alarming. An airship from Numaya, my homeland. I suspect there may be other Nimbari awaiting us at the palace. This may present complication. From what little my sister has told me, our departure from Numaya was troubled. We should be cautious. Okay, let's head over to the palace where Pork is. Ah, uh, it's been so long since I've been here. So long. We were here back at the start, at the, like, basically the first area of, um, actually it's really more of the second area. The second area of, um, part one was Xanadu, and we're back again. It's kind of crazy. Good, you're both here. Looks like the destruction of the Athenor chain didn't go unnoticed. Now, all of Imperia wants to see Bat brought down. Including my own people, it seems. Yes, somewhere in this city is a squad of formidable Nimbari warrior women. Ah, Numea. Why did I ever leave you? To hear Ioni tell it, we were chased out with pitchforks and torches. More like blades and lightning beams. Your people always did have such fancy weapons. At least now, they want to turn them on our mutual enemy. So don't worry, they've got bigger concerns than our daring departure years ago. Now let's get inside and see what they and Khan are planning. Khan. Whew, it's been a while. This is bringing back some memories of a longer uh, quest error is glitched. That's exciting. That's exciting, and I, too, enjoy having a glitch quest error all the time. Good job. Good job. I don't know how that happened. Please be fixed. Nope, it's not fixed. Oh, okay. So you're the wizard Lord Khan requested? I must say. Wait, can it be? Spark Verga, New Maya's lost son? I heard rumors of your return. Have you? I must say, I find that surprising. I wouldn't have thought my exploits so momentous. Such modesty. It's not often an Imbari leaves Imperia, returns aboard so sophisticated a ship, and then uses it to connect the disparate islands. Indeed. Tales of your adventures have spread across Imperia, my friends. But the story is not over. We must bring the villain to justice. Yes, the bat with his pilfered luminiferous essence. Numaya anchors the paradox chain of myth and storm, so we take this threat most seriously. As do we. Confer with Ziggy Stardust by the Beacon of Hope, wizard. She will guide you to our quarry. Okay, I think today is going to be a lot of um, dialogue. We're just going to quit and see if this helps um, fix the quest error real quick. Usually this is what you do. Um, and it should fix it. If it doesn't, then just restart the game. That's usually what happens. Um, there we go. It's all fixed. Um, but yeah, I think today is going to be a lot of dialogue and not too many fights. So if that's the case, I'm sorry. But we got to keep the 15 minute time limit. <laughs> there is no going over 15 minutes. Um, so yeah. Ah, uh, wizard. Khan was wise to call you in. The Nimbari are formidable allies, but they are careless in sacred matters. Do you recall the illuminated manuscript pages you secured? Nope. They tell of the paradox chains, their origins, their strengths, their weaknesses. Absolutely no clue what you're talking and about. And now Bet has them. Impossible as that sounds. After all, we secured them in a diamond vault protected by shadow detectors and a light scythe. There was no way in! How did he get the pages? Well, I suppose he could have defeated three guards and collected their keys, but who does that? I love this wee little subtle dig at defeating collect quests. I love it. Fortunately, the Nimbari anticipated this and attached a shadow tracer to the pages. It let us follow Bat here to his lair in the beacon itself. He's sealed himself in. Three minions on these streets have the keys. You must defeat them and... Oh, I guess that's more common than I thought. 
<laughs> oh gosh, I love it. Um, okay, we'll be back once we've defeated a whole bunch of things to get keys. We need three of them. Um, basically, one from each of the people who are here. The Sentinel, the um, Shrike, and then the Trickster. Uh, is that the thing? Um, Seraph, which is somewhere probably in the sewers. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I don't know how long we'll be gone, but we'll be back soon, hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Hey, did you just get the beacon keys? Good. Now get over here before the shadows take them back. Okay, we're back. Um, obviously, just finished off that. Not too difficult, um, especially if you've got your right, um, right spells. It's really easy. Um, I got them first try for all of them, so yeah, not difficult at all. So you're that wizard I keep hearing about. I'm not impressed. Still, you saved me some grunt work by getting those keys. I said we should just blast our way into the Beacon of Hope, but the pointy-eared crowd does get so fussy about sacred monuments. Guess it's a moot point now. So hand over those Beacon keys and I'll go nab the bat. You wanna come with me? Do I look like a babysitter? Yeah, yeah, save the spiral, dragon titan, jabberwock, whatever. Fine. Take those keys to the Alfoy lady with the, uh, lightning face. I need to grab something from our arrow ship, then I'll meet you there. Okay, look at that XP so much. Nearly 127, which is great. Um, it'll be exciting when I get there. Um, it's what, like, basically, what's half of five? Half of five is three and a half, so, no, two and a half. Why? I can't, I can't math. It's been too long. It's been too long. Um, I think it's two and a half. So, I mean, I think we're over halfway, right? No, seven will be halfway, probably. I don't Excellent, know. Excellent, wizard. I knew you wouldn't fail us. Are you ready to enter the Beacon of Hope? Yes. They are now that I'm here. Captain Thuria, this beacon was a gift from Raven herself. The light to inspire Empyria against the shadow. Please try not to blow it up. Relax, I won't. Only thing I'm bringing is a light net. <laughs> if you don't mind, wizard, but I recruited your technologist to handle it. Hmm. I suppose I am a technologist, and I must confess, this light net device is quite intriguing. Latest thing off the line from the boys in the academy. Should stop a shadow creature in its tracks. Now let's go bat hunting. Okay, let's go bat hunting. Sounds like a great idea. JK, we don't actually want to kill bat. He's great. He's great. Great dude. Um, yeah. Don't know how many of the battles here we're going to show. But I know there is at least one boss that is kind of cool, so we will definitely show him, mainly because we show bosses anyway. Retry. It is ready. It's always going to be ready. Don't do not do that to me, Kingsale. Please, no. Yeah, here we go. So, elite. Bam. Pow. Zowie. Are those aerobots? Bats using aerobots for security? Indeed. Though this latest model is new, it seems Bat has upgraded his forces. We should proceed with caution. For Raven! Okay. Um, we'll be back in just a bit. She scares me. What does she give, by the way? What does she give? Um, damage. 3% damage. No, resist. That's nice. That's really nice. Anyway, I'll be back in just a sec once we've done these guys. Okay! I am back. Hello. It's me. Casting Lulu because that is the only spell I use all the time. We crit. We're actually critting a lot today. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. He blocked, but I mean, he's dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, at least I'm 99% sure he's dead. No, he's not dead. He is still alive. Damn it, I needed that crit. He tower shielded, okay? It's not my fault. I'm just slightly bad, okay? It's fine. We can cast the Dead Knight. It'll be all good, you know? It'll be great. It'll be actually a Dead Knight will not be good. Um. <laughs> These absorbs are annoying. So frustrating. So frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. I hate absorbs. Can I just tell you how much I hate absorbs? They're just so annoying, and I hate them. This does zero because of that stupid absorb. Yeah, that's right. I'm disappointed with you. He uses up all of his pips and gets an OP absorb. I don't understand why. It's just not fair. I don't approve of it. I do not approve of it. Do I faint or do I save pips? I'm gonna save pips. I'm gonna save pips. Maybe we can get a shadow pip. That'd be cool. Then we can Kizma. That'd be great. Who knows? Who knows? But welcome to fights with Brent. Oh, look. I'm stunned again. Just kidding. I've already got a stun shield. <laughs> they stormlorded me round two, so that was exciting. Don't worry. We good, though. We good. We out here. We we got that. We, we fine. We super good. Um, no shads, but it's fine. 
this does a lot of damage. Dear Knight with nothing is actually quite a good spell. It's a really good spell. It does about a thousand, just normally. Um, so we should be fine, right? Yep, probably he'll die, right? Maybe, yes. Yeah, he did, good. Easy clap, easy claps. No, he's not, he has more health. I am bad. I'm just bad at this game, I think. I think that's what I've come to the conclusion of. I'm just bad. Still not dead, okay. Can you not shield? That would be great. Of course he shields. Oh my gosh, why? Please stop. Really? You've got 200 health. And you choose to shield. This this guy. What is his issue? What is his issue? 200 health. So close. So close. I was about to say, don't you dare do that again. If he did that again, my gosh, I would be mad. I would be so mad if he did that again. So mad. Luckily, he's dead, finally. Okay, easy fight. Yep, definitely. I love the smell of explosions in the morning. And you weren't so bad either, wizard. I'm starting to understand what all the fuss was about. <laughs> now, let's see what else Bat wants us to smash. I must say, wizard, my first reintroduction to my people is not what I expected. They are surprisingly excitable. Most curious. I love Spark. Spark is one of my favorite characters. He's kind of boring, but he's also kind of cool. I wanted to go up the ladder. Oh, damn it. This is Tumblr. He's a boss, obviously. Duh. <laughs> Look at him. He's a boss. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, okay, let's put in a couple of those, and we'll put in a couple of these, and we will go for one of those and one of those, and that should be good enough. You are not welcome here. Lord Bat has specifically decreed no Alphoi, no Embari. No brain things, no spiders, and no wizards. No brain things, just in case Medulla comes back. Please exit Yikes. or you will be tumbled. You have 20 seconds to comply. Ah, I love it when they want to fight. So I have observed. Um, so that means we're fighting Tumblr. He's a moon boss, obviously it means he resists death. He has a 70% resist to death, so it's really, really a good idea to bring your prisms. Really great idea. Um, he does have cheats. His cheats include um, offensive mode enabled, which is what he just did there. I think that's how he did it. Offensive mode engaged, which he gets a plus 100 magnify for 98 rounds. Increases additional 100% um, for every wizard in the duel, up to 400%, which is fine. Um, defense mode engaged at the beginning of the fourth round, he changes to a minus 100 brace for himself. It increases additional 5% for each additional wizard. Maximum is 115%, um, which is great and all. So in other words, you gotta kill him pretty quickly. Um, uh, and if you supernova him, he will recast it. So that's um, fun. Basically, you gotta kill him pretty quickly. So I'm gonna look for a kill next round, hopefully. Because that's what, like three rounds? This is round two. Next will be round three. And then we gotta kill. So basically, gonna kill next is probably the idea. I think it's at the start of the fourth round, right? Um, at the beginning of the fourth round, yeah. So we gotta kill this round. Can we? Probably not. So, um. That's great. Should have probably packed Shrike. But you know, who has time to think things through before they go into a fight, you know? Not me. Um, this will do a bit. This will kill the minion. At least if we kill the minion, we can focus on the boss a bit more. Um, we do have another prism, so I'm not too worried. Um, but we definitely need to prism before we hit. Otherwise, we are screwed. So screwed. Um, no crit, unfortunately. But this will do a bit, I hope. I didn't see the damage, but it would have done a bit. He's not dead at all. Yeah, that was terrible. Why did I do that? I don't know. I'm I'm dumb. I ha I have big dumb. Um, yeah, he's casting a wraith. Okay, that's cute. Get all of his health back. Sure thing. Sure thing. That's fun. I enjoy that. Yep. We are probably gonna need to retry this. I might flee and bring Shrike. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that because we are nearly dead. <laughs> we are nearly dead. Let's quickly flee. Um, pack some Shrike. Probably the best idea here. Probably the best idea. Um, yeah. 
Okay, what we'll do is we'll also put on melee stuff as well for Pierce. We'll just go for Pierce, I think, is what we'll do. Um, probably the best idea. We're just going to use this. I don't really care. I do not care at all. Filled up potions just yesterday, so it's fine. It's fine, right? Yep, definitely. Okay, so let's put in some Shrike. Um, and we're going to switch to melee stuff just while I remember, which is there. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantabulous, and go for a full PS setup, and hope that this is good enough to kill Tumblr. He is frustrating. I remember in Test Drum, um, he was very, very frustrating, and I disliked him so much, so much. I don't really want to um, blade up too much because the minion can remove blades. I assume because he can probably use Stormlord and not Stormlord Leviathan and. All of those cool spells like sirens, so yeah, don't really want to blade up too much, but that's what we might have to do here. Who knows? Who knows? Um, okay. Interesting. What is the thing? 30 and 70. So that's a faint. Okay. It's different to my faint though, so it's fine. Um, yeah, different to my faint, so it's fine. We're going to put on a death prism, because I don't think... Can he do damage himself? No, he can't, which is fine. That's always good. It's always good. Um, always should check that as well. That's something that you should always check if he can damage himself, especially for things that have death um, spells. Dark Pack is a pain if you're trying to faint a whole bunch. Um, that did a lot. Holy moly. What the what? That did so much. Do not like that at all. Do not like that one bit. We might have a perfect excuse to use more um, uh, Sign of Death on the boss that would be great we do have a shadow pip so we can strike which is great um striking is probably what we will have to do before not another wraith uh -huh. this is going to take me down to like half health definitely going to have to sign of death 100 percent going to have to do that yep i'm at half health now which is great hit me a bit more and then i'll sign of death and you can die does that sound like a fun deal i think it does i think it sounds like a really good deal Really, really good deal. We'll see. Who knows? Okay, Stormlord stunned. That's cute. Whatever. Whatever. I didn't want to hit anyway. You bully. Yeah, such a bully. Such a bully. Such a big bully. Big bully. I mean, it did nothing, so it's fine. Um, and it's better than removing my blades, so I'm not really worried. Uh, we can't do anything, so instead we will just pass. I would like to discard something to get some spells, but, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It is fine. Defensive mode engaged, minus 100% damage, which is great. Really, really cool. Um, I mean, at least it doesn't... I was going to say, at least it doesn't do much now. Just kidding. It does a lot. Yep. That's a thing. Okay. Um, we're going to blade. Hopefully, we can find a Shrike next. If we can find a Shrike next... We are definitely signing Scion of Deathing right away. Right away, like, no question about it. This is a shield, right? No, it's a blade. Okay. Does he even have a shield? I have his wiki page brought up. He does not have a shield, which is great. Except Frozen Armor. He does have Frozen Armor. Yikes. Um, what is his feints currently? Faint situation? Quite high. Um, let's discard the Sharpened Blade. I don't care. I just need a Shrike. Just give me a Shrike, please. This is going to do so much. What the heck? At least he didn't crit this time. Okay, 420, that's fine. That's fine. Please don't remove my blades. Okay, Fizzle, that's great. That is great. That is really, really great. I approve of that. Okay, we're going to discard the Epic. Oh, he changes. <sighs> okay, we can go for... A, okay, next... we got to go for... A, don't you dare be a Frozen Armor. Okay, it's on the minion. That's fine. I don't care about the minion. The minion's fine. Um, we are going to go for, um, Sign of Death to his face. Get some of that fat health back since we're under 33%. It's going to do the best damage ever. This spell is only good if you get the double damage. Otherwise, it's not good at all. Um, we're going to see how much this does. This could do quite a bit. It could kill. We'll see. Um, I mean, there's a lot of traps there. We boost as well. Which is great. He only has like a 4% or 7% boost. So it's not too bad. But we killed. Easy clap. Easy clap. GG boys. 
Sign of Death is a great spell if you get the um the double damage multiplier. If you don't, it's bad. Really, really bad. But if you do, it's great. Um, okay, that's fine. We will try and get a... Um, now we get a strike. You would have been useful a lot longer ago. Good job. Good job. We will next round go for a thing called Lulu. Followed by a thing called... Um, another Lulu would be great if we could get that. That would be really, really good. We will discard the Shrike next. Um, we crit even better. Even better. This could actually kill. It does a lot with a crit and a blade. It does so much. Lulu is such a great spell. Like, such a great spell. Really, really good. GG. Easy clap. So this is how it feels to be yes, it we does. We should press on quickly. Yes, this is exactly how it feels to be tumbled. We might level after this. We've also gone a lot over time, so that's fun. So I'll be back once. Oh, you do not have permission to enter Master Bat's tower. Prepare to be swept aside. Once we've defeated this boy. Okay, I am back. This is the last floor. Bat himself is waiting up there. You go first, wizard. And if Bat gets you, rest assured, I'll get him right back. Yikes. Um, we're gonna take off our wand. Not not actually take it off, but um, you know, switch it back to our normal normal one. Paradox. Paradox, where to find a paradox. Hard to think in this light, but I need it to Wizard, what are you? Firing light net. <sighs> Nimbari. You always did have such wonderful toys. So did you. What exactly were you working on here? Something with the luminiferous essence, maybe? Wait I don't have it. Sure you don't. The Justicars will get it out of you. Good work, wizard, technologist. Report back to Ziggy. I'll mop up here. Level. There we go. One, two, seven. Mission of the day achieved. We're going to go back to Ziggy. We're going to talk to her. Then we're going to end off the episode. It's been extremely long or longer than I normally like. Um, but it's an important episode, so it's fine. Wizard, were you successful? Fantastic. So Thuria is securing the bat. Wonderful. Hopefully this brings an end to Xanadu's dark chapter. But tell me, were you able to find the illuminated manuscript pages? Wait, Bat did what? Left them strewn about the floor? The fiend. Well, I'll see to those right away. You should report your success to Khan, and thank you again. Okay, so next episode we will start by talking to Khan. I usually like to, um leave on like the end of a quest and the start of a new one but i mean this is kind of a perfect place to wrap up but anyway thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe if you've already subscribed press the wee little bell so you know exactly when i post another video and remember craft outside the box